Hello again. So we've heard the term African spirituality, but what does it mean, especially in the context of traditional healing? To help us unpack this, now I'm joined in studio by traditional healer Kidulezi Gwangwa and Bishop Joshua Maponga. Sanwanan, Jimela, Um Okay, so when we talk about African spirituality, what are we talking about? F firstly, maybe we need to be very clear that we don't allow our, um, our spirituality, our way of existence to be defined by Eurocentric terminology, where you're basically looking at African culture through white glasses. African spirituality must not be looked in in the same frame of religion, which is schizophrenic by nature where you go to church on a Sunday, on a Saturday, you take off your clothes and then you live your life as you please in the course of the week. Spirituality has to do with lifestyle, combination of our, not just culture and celebration, putting on a few clothes and one day per year in September, is it October, where it was Africa month, Africa day, then people try to buy some little white cloth, black material, and then they walk around and say, we are Africans. Mm. I think that's quite a commercial way of an adulterated nation that has lost its soul. African spirituality just do the total lifestyle. When you're talking about being a European, for example, it's your Valentines, it's your Halloweens, it's your birthdays, it's your whatever, what, what, con what constitutes a Jew? It's, it's your Shabbats, it's your Hanukkahs, it's your, you know, Passovers and etc. What constitutes a Mexican? But all of a sudden, when you come to Africans, we're the only group of people on the face of the continent whose lifestyle must be, de must be determined by our colonizers and our independence seem to give us a small little leave from ourselves to become like the other and once in a while then they give us a holiday of when to celebrate ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think that's quite a, uh, an abusive way of looking at how democratization, industrialization, uh, communism, capitalism, neo-colonialism, neo-imperialism, name all the isms you can mention, how they've come actually to rape and force the African child to become that which is not like himself. With